Hey there, this is Tad Hargrave. Welcome back to another edition of the Radical Business Focus on Your Niche. So uh, we covered four premises in the last video about why to look at a niche. And just to quickly recap, the first one was that you can be explicit about having a niche without being exclusive. The second one is that a niche can and should be phased in. Third is that it may take you a while to identify a niche and that's fine. And fourth, that uh, you already are, are uh, losing people. Um, anyways, so that's important. You're already losing people. Uh, some people aren't attracted to your business. You're not going to be appealing to everyone. You just can't. There's no way you can do it. So why not just focus on the people you do want and attract them instead of maybe sort of haphazardly attracting people who uh, turn you off a bit. So the fifth premise is that it's probably better to start too specific than too general. A lot of times people, they're, they're afraid to get too specific in the niche they're going after. What I would say is start with exactly what you want, exactly who you have in mind, the perfect, perfect, perfect kind of client. And what you may find is that if there's not enough of them, that's okay. If there's not enough of them, you can still maybe go after them, and you may broaden a little bit. But I would say focus specific first and then broaden versus starting broad and then trying to narrow. The sixth premise, uh, don't underestimate the size of your niche. Sometimes people... Um, they, they start too narrow, but they never broaden, and so they think, oh, my niche is too small. But what's important here is that, uh, you know, in any, any niche, any target market, there's going to be the hardcore folks, and then there's going to be a lot of folks who aren't hardcore. The really hardcore, you know, uh, you know uh, let's say a vegan restaurant. Well, the hardcore vegans is a very, very small section. But there's also going to be people who are, you know, vegetarian. There's going to be people who are sort of lacto ovo vegetarian. There's going to be people who eat uh, some meat, but mostly a plant-based diet. There's going to be a pretty broad range of other folks. And if you just focus on the hardcore people, you may lose out on a whole other potential marketplace as well. Uh, seventh uh, premise is that it's up to you uh, who your niche is. This is... Uh, this is just so critical. Don't listen to marketing consultants. Uh, don't listen to business advisors about this. Uh, I mean, take their advice, listen to them. It's good. You know, it's uh, you know, you can listen to people like me or, or other folks, and it's good to get educated. But at the end of the day, this is your life. This is your business, and the niche that you pick has to feel good to you. Has to be attractive to you. So, uh, yeah, that's important. Number eight that uh, having a niche as a business is a little unnatural at times. And that's good to just sort of flag. Most of us, our business is going to be a lot more focused than our life is. Now, if you're like me, you've got a lot of interests outside of this. You know, I do improv comedy. I do close-up magic. I do, uh, I play guitar. I speak Gaelic. I'm into Celtic history. There's a lot of things, and they... Uh, may come into my business once in a while, but fundamentally they don't inform my business. And I'm a, you know, I'm a more of a generalizer than my business is. My life isn't just about this kind of green conscious economy business stuff. And your biz your life isn't either, I'm sure. Your life is a lot bigger than your business. So when you pick a niche for your business, it may feel like, oh, but I'm cutting out so much and this doesn't represent my whole life. It doesn't. Your business isn't going to be your whole life. It's going to be one part of it. And what's smart for a business may not be smart for your life. If you try to monoculture your life, it doesn't work. But monoculturing a business and having a really specific focus on a niche may be a smart business decision. So it's just important to lift that up. It may be unnatural, but that's good to know. Uh, so if it feels unnatural to you, you're right. Um, but what works in business isn't necessarily going to be what's going to work in your life. So um, that's it for this one. Uh, the next one, we're going to talk a little bit more about and in depth about some things with the niche. And at the end of this video, again, there's going to be a website you can check out for a PDF of a report specifically about the niche. Uh, and it's about 30 pages long. You can go into it and uh, go in a lot more in depth than I'm probably having time to talk about here. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.